I'm Julia Morton in New York's Chelsea Art District, and this is now on September 6, 2007. At Clamp Art, photographer Mark Morris wrote, featured here in a painting by Stephen Passion, led a short and tragic life, and he produced only a small body of work, much of it featured in this exhibition. Yet his authentic vision of bohemian punk strongly influenced his art college classmates, Dan Golden, Pat Hearn, Stephen Taschen, and others. Morris Rowe's self-portraits and his Polaroids of friends capture the gritty, romantic spirit of emerging art in the 1980s. The James Cohan Gallery presents Ingrid Callan. Callan constructs her paintings by layering traces made for real stains and spills, and then superimposes them with intentional markings taken from scientific, economic, and religious fields. This exhibition features tracings from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and tracings from the LA River superimposed on the Clark Telescope Dome Lowell Observatory. Her constellations, or micro-histories as she calls them, operate both as abstracts and as social commentary. Zeta Smith presents Tucker Nichols' line drawings. They suggest subtle narratives. His simple gestures celebrate our willingness to complete the story. As Nichols says, to make sense of things, even when there's so little to work with. At Stuck's gallery, Linda Veneri's new digital photographic works on silk explore the distortion of reality. At first glance, you see only the dolls, but on closer examination, their eyes reveal well-known images of inhumanity. The surreal juxtaposition of cute and cruel allow us to visualize just how easy it is to manipulate perception. Lehman Malpin Gallery presents Junwin Hatsushiba's exhibition titled Circus. It examines the impact of globalization on the youth of Southeast Asia. The gallery walls come alive with a fusion of silhouetted devils taken from Buddhism's 18 levels of hell and broadcasts of global news. Together they blend to create a dreamy, chaotic mix of traditional and modern expectations. Gallery Lalong presents Emilio Perez's abstract paintings. They combine elements from comic books, animation, wood carving, and Baroque sensibilities. Perez applies layers of paint to wooden panels and then carves away the layers to reveal and shape the colors underneath. His aggressive visual style causes both physical and psychological reactions and suggests a variety of interpretations. This has been Now On, September 6, 2007. I'm Julia Morton. Thank you for watching.